I started collecting wood and glass many years ago. And when I met Ben, I realized that the wood turners could actually show a feeling through their art in wood. You could tell about some of his life experiences in the pieces that he made. I think what he did was showed that wood could be really art. Ben's influence was fairly obvious early on at the AW symposiums and the instant gallery. You'd see the people that had studied with him or taken his taken classes with him. Um, you'd see the techniques used. Quite often you'd see his trademark imagery such as butterflies or dragonflies used. As time went on, more and more we saw people understanding the idea of the storytelling and starting to use stories in their works, which I think Ben really brought to the wood turning field to a large extent. One way that I thought about Ben was almost like an incredibly bright light source, like say like a moon or a sun. When say like a moth or whatever flies around that light source, they get illuminated and you can see every little feature about them. There were times where I felt like that's how we were, anyone that came into contact with Ben. He just brought out every part of you, especially as a creative, but I think Ben just in every possible way, he just, he just had a way of illuminating people. Well, it's kind of, I guess it's personal for me because of maybe he saw this in me that I wasn't very secure with the artwork that I was doing. Uh, I wasn't sure of myself. He helped me to open up and to bloom. And then I had the courage to tell my stories. So Ben Foe has been a driving force for basically um, bringing wood art into the, the public's eye. He's tried so many different things to try and get our field recognized from um, bridging the gap between wood and glass to we're dealing with very high-end galleries and tirelessly working at the Sofa Chicago show to um, just get people to understand what wood art is all about. Actually, I think Ben probably, other than the folks who actually started the AAW, Ben probably had a greater effect on the philosophy, the structure, and the operation of the organization than anyone else. And that's saying a lot because uh, uh, there are a huge number of people that gave big chunks of their lives to that organization. Whenever there was some, uh, say like at SOFA, or there was a bunch of us together and Ben was kind of the force of nature behind it, I used to think it was like flagship Ben, like he just had a way of, you know, sailing people forward, everyone. The, the more I got to thinking about it, the more it was not so much like he was the lead boat, it was more like he was the tide that raised all ships. Ben was a visionary. He was never satisfied with status quo. He pushed the field beyond many's comfort zone through his collaboration with glass, wood, paper, fiber, 2D artists, fellow wood artists. The mindset that Ben Foe had is the epitome of AAW, his willingness to give, his willingness to share his knowledge. The fingerprint of Ben Foe can be seen throughout the field of wood art. His legacy will be felt for decades. Um, we're not going to see the likes of Ben Foe again. Um, he opened doors, he made things possible, um, but I think basically he left us inspired and expanded the possibilities for us all. I don't know how you could, he was larger than life in the real world, and that's that's what Ben was. I don't think people realize, the people that don't know him that well have no idea the depth of that man. It's amazing.